Hello guys, this is LSD789 with another video. This is going to be my skill build video from the Empress International. It's a really good damaging skill build. I use the Technician specialization with the rocket launcher. Um, then with the build I use the capacitor because it has the capacitance, shooting the enemy builds a stacking to a cap of 40, each stack granting you 1.5 skill damage, after 5 seconds a stack the case uh, per second. Plus you get, uh, per skill tier you get 7.5 weapon damage, while I'm at 6 skill tier, uh, that's a lot of weapon damage just for this gun. Next to that, I put on the Harmony Rifle. I think it's a Dark Zone only item, so you can only get it in the Dark Zone or with the named caches. That's how you get it. Hitting an enemy grants you 20 skill damage for 5 seconds. Using a non shield skill to damage an enemy gives you uh, 20 weapon damage. This buff is doubled if both talents are active at the same time. So that's 40 skill damage, 40 weapon damage. But just hitting one bullet, it's really good. I use this gun more for sniping, this more for shooting, close range. Let's go into the gear. I use the Empress International. If you have three pieces on from the Empress International, you get skill health, skill damage, skill efficiency. The skill efficiency is everything that has to do with skills, like skill haste, skill duration, skill health. It e even gives you skill damage, the skill efficiency. So that's why the Empress International is really good just gives you all things that has to do with skills. Um, on the pieces I use skill damage, armor regen and protection from elites. Why I use protection from elites I go in a, into a, uh, in a second. Um, I have a normal Empress International chess piece with skill damage, armor regen, protection from elites and glass cannon. All damage you deal is amplified by 25%. All damage you take uh, will be amplified by 50%. So you will do 25% more weapon damage, skill damage, anything that has to do with damage, you will do 25% more damage. But you also take 50% more damage, and that's the exact reason why I use three times protection from elites to yeah, negate the effect of the glass cannon. I also have the waveform holster with skill damage, skill haste, and the alternate current. Generate a stack of 3% skill damage on one of your skills every second, capping at 10 stacks. After 10 seconds at the cap, the stacks transfer to the other skill. The process then repeats at infinitum. So yeah, this will give you 30% skill damage to your left skill, then 30% to your right skill. So it's like 15% skill damage uh, at an average. So that's a really good piece. Then go to the backpack. Use a force multiplier backpack from the head IU. That gives you a bit of skill haste. Also skill damage, armor regen, and again, protects from elites. And then shooting an enemy increases the skill damage by 30% for 3 seconds. So with this backpack, you need to keep shooting. But that's a really good thing, because with the capacitor, you also need to keep shooting to build up stacks. So the capacitor and this backpack, they go in hand in hand. They're really good. Then I have one Wyvern wear piece with extra skill damage. Uh, nothing usual, nothing strange on it. Skill damage, armor regen. Um, then I have one more Empress International with skill damage, armor regen. It, j the armor regen I just use to keep you alive. You don't need the haste or the duration or whatever, just armor regen to keep you alive because you use glass cannon. For the skills, I use a striking drone. Mine's level 25, but that doesn't really matter. Maximum duration, maximum health, maximum damage. The same with the turret. Normal turret, striking, damage, health, duration. The, this turret, you just put it down in a legendary mission, and the enemies can't even kill it, and it does just good DPS on the enemies. Yeah, it's a really good one. Um, the pistol, just put on whatever, 
That doesn't really matter. I like the card normal. I don't need a card custom because I'm already at skill tier 6. So the card custom, I don't need it. Also a thing to mention is, because you have the technician specialization, you get a skill tier. And you don't need a skill tier on all the pieces. If you look on all these five pieces, I have one skill tier. But if you look at my gloves, I have an armor core. Because if I put a skill tier on this one, it goes to waste because the technician already gives you a skill tier. So in this case, I just put an armor piece on to negate the glass cannon again. Mm. Let's go to the stats. Capacitor, the harmony rifle, the pistol, the rocket launcher. Weapon damage is whatever. I think the capacity gives you crit chance and crit damage, so that's a good thing. Um, armor is at 1 million, armor region is 24,000. That's because of all the armor pieces we have. Health regen is whatever. Protects from lead is 37%. So you still take more damage with the class cannon, because that's 50%, but from the elite you at least take 37% less damage. And that's about it. Skill damage 88, 3,500 almost, health. Um, almost 7,000 health for the turret. 1 uh, 184, uh, 148 damage. And then, um, yeah, that's about it. So really flexible and damage dealing build. I hope you guys like it. Let's put in some gameplay of this build. And let me know if you guys like it. Any questions, write it in the comments. Hope you guys have a nice day. LSD out.
operational train detected. Agent, find a way to put that train out of commission. They have eyes on Wilson. Outside near the main entrance to the mall. We need to terminate this son of a bitch. There's no direct route from your position. So you'll have to divert through the hotel and into the mall. Hostile radio intercepted. Get the munitions. We gotta secure the ordnance. Negative. The subway's compromised. Then find another way. Enemies deployed. that should take you to the mall. Wilson is still by the entrance. We've spotted a mortar team with him. These are probably the fuckers who attacked the castle.
Hostile forces incoming. DC-62 toxic detected. Contamination level lethal. What the hell? These readings are insane. We must have a lab nearby for weaponizing this shit. Make sure you put it out of operation. Send in a team to dismantle the rest of that crap once you've cleared the site.
Exiting contaminated area. Let Wilson get away. Wilson's unit is out of action, and you've crippled True Sun's chemical warfare efforts. Also, Kelso just reported in to confirm the survivors from the castle settlement have safely reached the rooftop settlement. There's no one doing what happened to them, but at least you've made sure it won't happen to anyone else. <laughs> 